In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Relay.app to automatically update Notion when you get a new incoming email. So here's the setup. I have a super simple CRM in Notion with two databases. The first is called Contacts, which just uh, records the name, the email address, and the company name of a particular contact. And then I have another table called Activities. Uh, and that for every activity, there's a linked contact, an activity type, which could be a meeting, an email, or a call, an activity date, and then a summary. And so I'm going to show you how when a new email comes in, we're going to automatically log that activity and link it to the right contact. So if you're using Notion as a CRM, this is a critical workflow to set up. So first, we're going to set up an email received trigger. Uh, and uh, we want to do this workflow for all emails we receive, but we only want to update the CRM sometimes when there's actually a, a conversation with a relevant contact. So after the email received trigger, the first step I'm going to add is a notion find page step. And what I want to do here is I want to look up the contact corresponding to the email address of this sender. So I'm going to look in the contacts database. I'm going to return the first matching page. And I want to match when the email is exactly the from address of the email that was sent to me. And then uh, if no page is found, I want to continue. And if more than one page is found, which should never happen because it contacts should be unique by email address, pick the first one. Now, <clears throat> if uh, there is a contact, I want to log the activity. If there's no contact, in this case, I'm just going to end the run, though you could totally set this up to add a new contact to your CRM if you've never heard from someone before. But I'm going to do it uh, this way for simplicity. So I'm going to go to Flow Control, Paths, and in Path A, Contact Found, and then Path B is Contact Not Found. And so the condition I'm going to set, the rule I'm going to set for path A is if the page was found. Now that the page was found, I want to add an activity that's linked to that contact. So I'm going to add another Notion step. I'm going to show you how to scroll down to Notion. And I'm going to add a page to a database. The database I'm going to pick in this case is the activities. And here are the fields I'm going to populate. The contact is the contact that we retrieved in step two. The activity date is the email send time. The activity type is email. And for the activity summary, uh, we're going to include a summary of the email. Uh, I'm going to leave that as a placeholder right now. But what I realize I actually need to do is add an AI step to summarize the email. So just before adding that page to the activities database, I'm going to an AI summarize step. I'm going to select the email as what I want to summarize. I'm going to summarize it as a few sentences. And now in the add page to activities step, I can just directly pull in the AI output of the summarized text. So here's a super simple workflow that whenever an email is received, we're going to check to see if we have that contact in our Notion CRM. If we do have a contact for that user, or for that email address in our CRM, we're going to summarize the content of their email. We're going to add a page to our activities database with the right date linked to the right contact with the right activity type and the email summary. So if I hope you if you use Notion as a CRM, I hope you find this useful. Let me know if you have any feedback in the comments.